there, I'm Chef Ani. We should address the fact that I am back in the old kitchen that I started this whole channel in. I wonder how many videos it's been since I've been here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ninety-three videos since the last time I was here. I don't know. We made so many good things in this kitchen. It's really nice being back. Brings back so many good memories. Like the time I like covered this kitchen in plastic and made pomegranate arugula salad. Or the time when I chopped up onions and tried every which way to keep from crying. This week we hit 4,000 subscribers on this channel. I feel like celebrating. What do you think? We should make an amazing tomato sauce. <laughs> Obviously, celebrating in my mind is different than in Mama's. This is like a go-to recipe for me. It is so delicious over all sorts of things. And this one is really simple to make because you probably have most of the staples in your home. So enough talking, let's get cooking. So we're going to get started by adding a little bit of oil to a pot. Now if you would prefer not to use oil, you can use water instead. We are just going to add some crushed garlic. Next we're going to saute the garlic for about a minute or so. We want to make sure that we don't cook it to the point where it's brown, but just softened a little. Next we add some crushed red pepper. This is not going to make the sauce spicy, just add to the flavor. Now it's time to add the chopped tomatoes. And I like to use this brand, it makes a really good tomato sauce. And if you use these finely chopped tomatoes, it doesn't have a lot of liquid, it's almost just ready to go. This is such red tomatoes, and I really like the flavor. And they're imported from Italy, who should know something about tomato sauce. <laughs> so we bring this to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer, and while it is simmering, we're going to add some fresh sprigs of basil. We will remove these leaves again, so we're just going to throw them in whole, just like this on the stem. That way we can get them out a little easier once the sauce is done cooking, because we're just getting the flavor from the leaves, not so much the green color. Now we're going to let this simmer for just a few minutes. Look at this little gadget that my parents got me. It's two little hands that clip onto the side of your uh, pot, and then look at that, you can put your spoon right there and it'll just drip right back into the pot. Isn't that clever? I love that. I should do commercials. Are you tired of putting your spoon on the table and making it all messy? Have no fear, today I'm going to introduce to you the amazing handy dandy clapping hand clipper thing, which instead of making a big mess like this, you just put the spoon like that and your life is 100% better. Now we gotta clean up this mess I did to prove my point. And I like to add a little bit of vegetable bouillon. Bouillon? Yeah. Bouillon. Did I say that right? Bouillon. Now if you don't have this, you can use any kind of vegetable bouillon that you wanna use. This will just add to the depth of flavor of our sauce. And then we're going to take out all the basil leaves that we put in, because they have now released their flavor. And the last thing I like to do is to add a little bit of vegan margarine. And the reason for that is that it just finishes the sauce. Now it is optional, so you can choose if you want to add it or not, but I really like it. Okay, I'm so excited, I just have to taste it right now. Yep. That is really good. You could just eat it like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to join me in this adventure to eat healthier, one recipe at a time. And I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday with another video.